Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanjay Rudeis. I am working as technical architect SD for at Adobe, and here I present day twenty first of June lead code challenge. The problem that we have in today is farthest building you can reach. So here in this question, you are given an array of integers that represents the height of various buildings. You are also given few set of bricks and some ladders. You need to return the farthest building index reachable if you use the ladders and bricks optimally. What are the rules to use these ladders and bricks? Let's walk through it. If you are at a current building, then if you are interested in moving on to the next building that is of higher height, then you can either use one ladder or the difference between the height of those two buildings as bricks to reach the next building. If you are at a current building and the next building is of lower height, then you don't need any ladder or bricks. You can simply jump onto it because the next building is lower in height. So these are the two set of rules. This is what we need to return. Here they have provided us with an example. I'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it. Why the presentation? So let's quickly hop onto it. Lead code one six four two. Farthest building you can reach. It's a medium level question on lead code, and I also feel the same. Also, in case if you have any doubt understanding this question, or if you want to ask anything from me in general. Please feel free to drop a message on the Telegram group or the Discord server of Coding Decoded. Both the links are stated below. The approach that we will use to solve this question would be a greedy approach. And let's get started with example number two specified in the question. So this is the height array that is given to us: four, twelve, two, seven, three, eighteen, twenty, three, nineteen. The number of bricks that you have happens to be ten, and the number of ladders that you have happens to be two. So let's walk through this entire array and let's try to identify at what what all places will bricks be needed or ladder is needed. So let's start the iteration from the zeroth index. You are over here. The height of this building is four units. The height of the next building is twelve units. That means you need to cover eight unit of distance, and it can be either done using one single ladder or eight bricks. So let's write eight bricks or one ladder over here. Let's proceed ahead. Now you have reached at this particular position, and since the next height is lower, you can simply jump onto it. No brick or ladder is needed. Let's proceed ahead. Next, you are here, and let's try to evaluate. Since the next next building to this particular building is of higher height, uh, what is the difference between these two heights? This is two, and this is seven. So this is seven. This is two. The difference turns out to be five units. So either you need five bricks. Or one ladder. So these are the two options available to us. Let's proceed ahead. The next height is lower, so we can jump jump onto it. No brick or ladder needed. Let's proceed ahead. The next height that we see happens to be three units, and this is three. This is eighteen. So the difference between these two have comes out to be fifteen bricks, or one ladder is needed to cover it up. Let's proceed ahead. Next we have twenty. And our twenty minus eighteen is two, so either you need two bricks or one ladder. Let's proceed ahead. Next, we have three as height, so you can simply jump onto it. No ladder or brick is needed. Last one is nineteen. Nineteen minus three happens to be sixteen, so either you need sixteen bricks or one ladder. And in the question, what is specified? It is specified that. You can you have at most two ladders to use, and in total you can use ten bricks. What you need to identify, you need to identify the farthest you can reach, starting from this particular position, up till the length of the entire array. The target is to reach the last building, and we need to identify if bricks gets finished and ladders also gets finished. At what farther index is it reachable? The intent of the problem is to use ladder at those places. Where the gaps are huge, for example, this one, and use bricks at those places where the gaps are smaller, because both the quantities of bricks and ladder is limited in nature, and using ladder there is no boundation up till how much gap can be covered. Therefore, we will use ladder at those instances where the gaps are huge, and we will use bricks at those instances where the gaps are smaller. So we have appropriately identified those gaps. And let's start the iteration. What we will do? We will create a min heap kind of a thing, a min priority queue, and we will be adding those gaps onto it. So let's start the iteration. And as we walk through, I'll make you understand the algorithm. So right now we are at this particular position, the zeroth index, and the gap to be covered is 
eight units. So let's create a priority queue or mini kind of a thing, and let's write eight onto it. And remember, it's a min heap. Whenever you will pull out element from it, the one where the least gap occurs will be pulled, will be returned. Let's proceed ahead. Next, we have we are over here. The gap is zero. Let's forget it. Next, we are here. The gap happens to be of five units. Let's add five to it. And here you will see that the total number of elements in the priority queue happens to be a uh, two, which is less less than or equal to the ladder count that you have. Let's proceed ahead. The next we have we are at three index, and at three there is no gap to be covered. Let's proceed ahead. At four the gap to be covered is of fifteen units, so we have fifteen units of gap to be covered. And since the size of the priority queue turns out to be greater than the ladder count, what do you do? You need to pull out element from uh, the priority queue. Which element will be pulled out? The one that has least value. So five will be pulled out. This this gets deleted, and that that simply means what we will be doing. We will be using bricks for covering five units. So let's reduce the brick count by five. So here we are. We have identified the least gap, and we will be covering those by bricks, while the rest two will be fulfilled by ladder. Let's proceed ahead. Next, we are at this particular index. The gap to be filled is of two units. So two gets added onto the priority queue. Again, you see that the size of the priority queue has increased to three, which is greater than the total ladders that you have. As a result of which, you will have to pull out elements from the priority queue. Which one will be pulled out? The one that has least value. So two would be gone, and you will be decreasing the brick count that we have because we are we have used two more units of bricks. So this gets updated to three. Five minus two is three. Let's proceed ahead. Next, we are at sixth index, and the gap is zero for the next building. Let's proceed ahead. Next, we are at this particular index. What is the gap? The gap value is sixteen. So sixteen uh, gets added onto the priority queue. Again, the size of the priority queue has increased to three, which is greater than the ladder count that you have. As a result of which, what you will do? You will simply pull out elements from the priority queue. Which one will be pulled out? Eight will be pulled out because it has least value out of eight, fifteen, and sixteen. So th this is gone. And here you will see that the brick count is right now three, and you are in, you need to have eight bricks in order to complete this gap. As a result of which, your total number of bricks remaining after subtracting eight goes in negative. Three minus eight is in negative. As a result of which, it is not possible for you to cover this particular gap. Therefore, you have to abort that abort over here itself. If you observe it carefully, then what we have done by this iteration, we have identified gaps at each and every index. And in case that gap value happens to be greater than zero, then you add it into your priority queue. As soon as the size of the priority queue turns out to be greater than the ladder count that you have, it's time to pull out the least element from the priority queue and consume your bricks against it. In case your brick count goes to zero, less than zero, that simply means that gap can't be fulfilled, and you need to abort that process there and then itself. The time complexity of this approach is order of n log n, and to conclude it further, let's quickly walk through the coding section. The space complexity is again of size order of n. Here I have created a priority queue, which is basically acting as a min heap. And what do you do? You start the iteration starting from zero index up till height dot length minus one, and you identify the gap. In case the gap is greater than zero, that means you have to cover it up. Therefore, you add that gap into the priority queue. You move ahead and check in case the size of the priority queue is greater than the ladder count that you have. That simply means you don't have enough ladders uh, to cover these many gaps. As a result of which, at those places you need to use bricks. It and since you are using bricks, you are you reduce the brick count. And which value will be pulled out on the priority queue? The one that has least a uh, gap. So the brick count get reduced to the least gap element that gets pulled out. And in case your bricks goes in negative, the remaining bricks goes in negative. You simply abort the process and return the ith index from there and then itself. In case the breaking condition is not met, 
you that simply means you were able to reach the last most index and you need to return that the time complexity of this approach is order of n log n where n signifies the length of the heights array and the space complexity of this approach is equal to order of ladders that you have so let's write ladders over here the number of ladders that you have because in priority queue the size can go up till the number of ladders that you have otherwise you are pulling out elements from it